Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Friday, the 3rd of August 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals with market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. And be sure to visit CFDs.com for your latest trading platform okay now in terms of european markets yesterday u.s equities certainly ignoring uh, the bearish sell-off in china overnight uh, it certainly seems like the trade war concerns are totally forgotten by the look of things okay uh, investors are choosing given the fact that the uh, the employment numbers came out stronger than expected going into nfp today it certainly seems like they're buying growth and they think that the america will be insulated which really is wrong but nevertheless apple obviously hits that one trillion dollar mark and nasdaq or the tech sector certainly leads the recovery higher which is pretty impressive if you think about it, folks. Either way, I'm still uh, expecting the. Uh, I've got. I've actually got a swing short on the uh, S and P 500 at the moment. I'm playing this head and shoulders pattern. Okay, um, stop loss around the 2870 zone, giving myself some uh, leeway. Uh, certainly not expecting that gap to close at 2850, and then you got gap fill at 2875. So not expecting that at all. Looking for a lower high, and then looking for the gap fill to close at 2775, and then 2760 below. That's my anticipation. Okay, either way, that's the status quo. Now, let's look at the uh, technical picture now in terms of Europe. Uh, the economic data from Europe really has come in relatively weaker. Retail sales weaker, PMI is weaker as well, and the rest of Europe as well. So, again, looking for risk aversion there. Okay, uh, certainly looking bearish, especially concerns in Italy as well. Uh, ongoing concerns in Italy with regards to yield spiking there, with regards to potential budget. Certainly some uncertainty there. So again, like I said, retail sales in Europe weaker, PMIs overall weaker, UK PMI certainly weaker as well, China CACs in services overnight certainly weaker as well. Everything is indicating weaker, yet US equities continue to rise, which is quite baffling, okay? Very, very baffling uh, divergence right now. Okay, now in terms of the technical picture, let's just quickly run through that with you, given the fact that it's NFP day. Uh, German DAX certainly low, as you can see, certainly under immense pressure, 60 minute chart, certainly bouncing off support below. Coming into resistance now. Okay, you've got the unfill gap above as well. Again, the ongoing concerns in Italy, ongoing concerns in China with regards to trade war, retaliation, etc. All those factors need to be taken into account. Okay, in terms of the French CAC, let's have a look here. Certainly bounced, uh, feeble bounce out that. Okay, coming into resistance now. 10 minute chart, horizontal resistance. Certainly not able to close the gap above. Uh, certainly is bearish given the fact that we've got ongoing concerns regarding Italy. Uh, weaker PMIs and obviously we've got the inflation numbers certainly popping higher as well so certainly stagflation again you got the unfilled gap at 5425 below so watch out for that potential to be closed FTSE 100 certainly benefiting on the back of Mr Carney saying uh, Carney's dovish hike ever since then GBP certainly seems to be crashing okay although again bear in mind China was down again overnight so therefore looking for risk aversion there as well so watch out there you've got the unfilled gap below now at 7576 uh, FTSE certainly uh, moving higher here quite impressive i mean you've got gap filler 7650 so let's see if we can close that gap and we'll see exactly how the markets react there okay on the 10 minute chart 60 minute chart give you an insight as well as you can see that flush was quite uh, potent okay quite thorough again you are coming into previous support equals resistance now around the 7630 zone so looking for resist resistance around this region okay uh, again, you've got next resistances around here, which is around 7680 zone, 7675, where previous support equals resistance. So again, looking for risk aversion there. Okay, so uh, certainly give you an insight there in terms of European indices. Last but not least, euro stocks. Again, I'm looking for that gap fill to fall, given the fact that we've got weaker European data. In, obviously, inflation numbers ticking high yesterday. And we've got concerns in Italy as well. And obviously, China trade concerns too. Okay, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs and be sure to download the latest Trade Signal app. Goodbye now.